Right, oh, could be tough. Could be tough. At least it's starting though. Let's see what he's got. Hmm. The minor isn't even bad at low TV. Three re rolls. Two gutters, two dark owls. I really don't like the minor though. So if you drop the minor down, you could have three more beast men. And then you'd still have 90, so you could have had an underworld blitzer, two dark owl blitzers, two gutters, and three. I like that starting with three rerolls actually. You get more, you could have had 100, you could have had like a chaos warrior. You could have made that a chaos warrior. <laughs> and then have three more beastmen. Or made it an underworld troll. And had uh, two beastmen and a skaven lino or something. Or drop one of them down. I don't know. I think that, that's not a bad idea actually, having a lot, a lot of beastmen. That's, that's, I don't like the mino. I would rather have a warpstone troll. Personally, but it's it's not a bad team, obviously. Got no block to punish his goblins. Okay, isn't it? Oh, he's setting up in defense as well. Interesting. Interesting strategy, Cotton. Troll do I? Oh, 
think underworld goblins look way better than normal goblins. And uh, goblin goblins. They've got the blood ball huge shoulder pads, haven't they? Like second dead. That's sorely missing in this game. Like, I'm not too good, it seems a bit a bit much in a way. Like, it's good that one can hand off to the other. And I guess if somebody bolts you, you've got, you've got another one to pick it up afterwards. Yeah, I guess two is the magic number. Two vamps, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe should have gone three. That's, I went three the the only other time I've used vampires I started three. But I thought Let's go with four, see what happens. Oh, got him. Right, 2D here. Oh my god. Banged on. That's what you get for your bad setup. That's fair enough. No need to move the vances there. No need to risk the bloodlust. I did two dice on that throw, which is good. Oh, brilliant! Giving up another block. Time you ready, buddy? Wanna? Oh, flies on the window. Time to kill. Oh, it flew away. Clever dingo. Right, that's that, that's fair enough. He stops him. Stops me blocking him. But I could uh, put two guys in, block, follow, and then be uh, be able to blitz the gutter maybe. He's got dodge. Yeah. 
Fourth down on no balls this because he's a he's a gutter. Uh, Good enough. Oh, <laughs> Euro die. Um, one vamp, ten thousand or Euro. How much is that? That's probably not that bad because you'd get um, you'd get some crazy stars, wouldn't you? I used to have hobgoblin team of just twelve hobgoblins, which uh on fumble back when you couldn't have more than 12 it wasn't bad I didn't hate it so something like that could work actually to be fair two vampires wouldn't even be that bad no shit the bad thing is this miner might just fucking tear through the team right now Take and block on first and take and dodge the rest. I don't know. I, all of the uh, best players on Fumble tend to just go dodge first on everybody. So. You don't really want to blitz with them, do you? That's the thing. No, oh, that's fair. He might get sent off. Not. I already am back to streaming Blood Bowl as Prime Game, Eurodyne. I, I never stopped streaming it as the Prime Game. Um, it's just that I was. It was only yesterday. I only did it yesterday because I felt awful. Um, all right, I'm gonna activate a vampire. Are you ready? Oof. I'll try to gaze this one. So all these moves are so that I'm not in contact with a with a with a fucking uh, mino. Got the pow, and then with the follow, I get to hit the other one. Get four, I guess. Screen, screen the vamps from the uh, the scary minnow. Yeah, honestly, um, when is the beta over? The fifth, the fifth, and that's when um, that's when blood boils out. Well, now now this is the thing, right? What's going to happen is I do like cross out a lot. So, and there's a new faction coming out for cross out. So when the new faction comes out, I'll play a lot of cross out. Um, and obviously when Blood Bowl comes out, I'll play a lot of Blood Bowl. Um, but the main thing I'm going to do is, rather than play a Champion's Ladder, um, I'm going to try and play in the NAF official ladder and, uh, you know, try table to just play games, 1000 TV, with the extra skills and everything, just like tabletop. That's my plan. So he could block him, he could block him, he could get blitzed and then assist, and then it's a two dice on the mino. Two dice on the mino seems a good die good idea. Yeah, 
These fouls are fine because he's got about as much chance as losing the player as I do, doesn't he? We're both 40k, so... No real whoop. He's going to have to come forward eventually, isn't he? And when he does, the vamps will be there to get him. Taking a while, isn't he? <sighs> nah, that's made it harder to hit the vamp. I um, might know. Still possible to blitz him with a with a vampire. After these blocks. Got a fucking activator vamp. Phew. Ah, I gazed him. Don't even need the block. I'm gonna activate another vampire. Oh, there's this guy there, fuck. But now can I blitz him? Yeah. Protected. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I, yeah, well, I stopped for about a month, didn't I? As uh, Blood Bowl is my prime game, and then I was on holiday for a couple of weeks. But yeah, back to Blood Bowl. Blood Bowl main for sure. But there's there's a new there's a new GTA update out, which will make me want to play it a bit. And then yeah, a new a new faction for Crossout, so I want to play that a bit as well. So, but Blood Bowl will always be always be number one in my heart. I just, you know, obviously might get, might get burnt out a little bit every now and then. Is he going to make a bit of a play now, finally? Looks like it. Probably not more on Tomo. What I'll do is I'll read the reviews and all that kind of bollocks. Watch other people streaming it. I don't like, you know. I actually, actually, uh, I remember when, uh, when that other game came out. What was it? Uh, more time. And I watched, uh, I watched Russ play it a couple of times. And I was like, this is shit, I don't want this game. So I didn't get it, so... Um, 
I guess if I could get it before it came out for free, I could play it. <laughs> I guess. I guess if I can get like a, you know, that kind of that kind of thing, then I guess I would. But um, no, that just watching the the cyanide one, I thought I'm not even gonna try it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The thing is, though, the thing is, I just don't have any block to. That's the problem. It is, it is problematic, not having any block at all. I guess I just have to uh, don't go too far it because it can push and pull us. I want to stay in the middle. I didn't like having both these vamps over this side. Could block him. Doesn't really achieve anything. Could blitz the Mino again. I could block him if I blitz him. Three, four, five. Then I could block him if I blitz the miner. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. Can't do that. So yeah, I'd rather blitz with this guy and then move him around. Ah, oh, but then he's there now. Should have pushed him there. Shit. So. It's going to be the wrong. The wrong vamp to blitz with. And I want one dice on the mine, oh fuck. Oh, he could go there, I guess. Uh -huh. Oh, now I can see if I can choose who to buy. Yeah, I guess if you go block first, then yeah, why not make him the killer? Because you'll want a killer eventually, won't you? I mean, it would have only been a two two pluses to hit the ball. Wouldn't have been hard, but um, I don't get th if without three dice. I just didn't think there's much point. One dice the mine. Oh, let's go for it. I'd really like him to blitz with his. <laughs> well, I wouldn't like him to blitz with his mino. I'd like him to blitz with a mino in a non-important place, wouldn't I? Un unimportant positionally, so that he doesn't want to blitz with him. So he's got to try for the four stand up, isn't it? That's the idea. Yeah, it is funny that the stun throw gets up a bit, get bitten, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty bad. Hello, Jaleel.
<laughs> Cheer fire blitz, love it. Don't love getting powered though. Yeah, it's so weird, isn't it? The the pose of the dark elves. The run is fucking crazy as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> Typically, a vampire gets knocked down on this team and uh, and fucking gets his armor broken. Oh, yeah, he could he's in scoring, isn't he? he? Could just score with this guy, but no rerolls. Yep, so there you go. So, so it was worth. I think I thought it was worth making those two plus uh, two plus three, like the one dice blocks on the mino. I think he is going to go for the handoff here. So it's three two plus rolls without a reroll. Risky. Oh yeah, just stall it. Yeah, fair enough. I didn't have anyone back deep, did I? Yeah, I guess I should have got somebody back deep. And then I'll have two turns to score. Why this fixation with mixed teams? Because you're not going to be able to use them in matchmaking, are you? After after the beta, that's the thing. And they're better than not mixed teams. And they're better than fucking goblins and shit, aren't they? Hmm. Right, 2D him, 2D him. Get him back there first. A bit of safe moves first. Three dice this guy. Reroll the blood lost. One and nine to get through. Is it even worth it? Might be better just to fail this. Tschüss. I'm playing all the teams that uh, path less taken. Nothing with the same old. Well, <laughs> well, Jelly, if you want to play the same old, you play on Blood Bowl 2 and not play on the beta, don't you? So, yeah, that's it. I think it's fair. I'm more interested in the mixed teams than I am with the so-called new teams. Because the new teams aren't new, are they? They're new if you play Blood Bowl 2. But if you've played on Fumble and Tabletop and that, the new races, there's nothing new at all about them. So, whereas the mixed races are new, the fact that they haven't... They haven't um, let you just take an everything. That the fact they haven't let you take absolutely everything 
in the way that Ultra CRP did. Now three on the three on the field. I need to fill another one, and then uh, I can be down to two, and then I'll be like a, I'll be like a proper pro player. <laughs> I figured he'd just go, so no need to injure my thrall, happy about that. Hello, VIP brain on slugs, a little bit, better than I was yesterday. Ooh, fail both his KOs, oh baby. Chance of good things here. Two turn, obviously not very fast, but a strength four blood dodger um, might be able to do something here. Mmm, so he's staying deep. Can't go sideline because of the mummy. Mummy? Mine on. Still want to go. I guess I want the edge fall for the pass, don't I? Thrall back to help. When I say help, I mean get fucking bitten. Two D him, blitz him, screen. I don't know. And one of the girls is blood ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, this one. Oh, it's too hard to think about it, Rain on Slugs. Oh, right, brilliant. So that's a two plus handoff, isn't it? Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. Right, so I want to block here and not follow so that I can feed on him if I fail Budlust. And. He just wants to go forward six, so that I've got a scoring threat, in case I double fucking won this. No, it's not much of a scoring threat. Didn't double one it, unbelievable Jeff. Dangerous, but that's his best chance of getting the ball, isn't it? A fucking mino. Do I still get a hit when I've bloodlusted? Yeah. Oh no, I can block him away. Fuck. Alright, double GFI. 
Not, nothing else to do, is there? And another one. So there you go. Th three two plus rolls that I cared about. And <laughs> rolled two out of three. <laughs> Fucking great. Fucking great. He could just two dice me with block now, can't he? I never broke up. With, I never broke up with Blood Ball. I never broke up with Blood Ball. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Doctor Ron Bosco. Yeah, I never broke up with Blood Ball. Yeah, it's true. That's true. Very, very true. Glorious. Glorious. Slim G, Herb Dirt, Batman. <laughs> Slim G, Herb Dirt, Batman. Yeah, I was just unfaithful for a while. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mo Bosco. Oh, wow, dodge. Dodge to the rescue. Um, thank you very much for the, uh, for the resub. Thank you for staying fantastic. Oh, yeah. Should be able to change somebody away here, shouldn't I? Yeah, we were on a break. <laughs> change somebody away and then uh, gaze one, maybe. I guess the other vamp could score. Depending on the outcome. He can't one dice him here because if he pushes him, it. Oh, well, he can. Terrible play. Terrible play. Lucky as fuck. Wow, that was awful. That was. That was. Ridiculous. Ridiculous block. Because if he pushes him, I just get the clear out, don't I? Easy. Wow. Lucky as fuck. Right, so what's the fucking play here? It's easy to chain the vamp forward. With a blitz. but And then I would have to... Uh, let's say push him to here. But then there's just too many players, isn't there? It's pretty. It's actually pretty difficult. Could blitz him and power him. I'm not even power him and then But then it's it's the movement getting past with this shithead. Could try to gaze him, blitz him, and then gaze him. It's really hard. I think the I think this is the right play. Oh. 
Double GFI. Double GFI from him, so that's better. Actually, don't get the try to gaze, do I? I uh, get the try to gaze that that one. So now I might as well try to gaze him as well. Ah. Oh shit, I had a guy there. He should have moved up last turn. If he had been there, like he should have been, I could have made that blitz without GFIs. Right. Wow. Yes! <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, vampire man. Couldn't believe I rolled the one on the first, on the bloodlust there. Whew. <laughs> Pretty good. Happy with that. <laughs> Oh, and he's he's been unlucky with KO recoveries, which is very good. I could bite a thrall, but there wasn't a thrall in the end zone differation. <laughs> that was, yeah, the bite has to be the last thing you do. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, had I had free players, if I'd had free players, I would have moved one. You know, generally what you do is you um, you move a guy, you know, a throw out to here and then when you score, you can go next to him and eat him. But um, if you don't get to do that, you don't get to do that. He's an 11 now. I don't really, I just don't activate the vamps at all. Near the bottom, near the bottom, brain on slugs. Near, near the fucking bottom. Um, I mean, they're very similar to Kislev. In that they can do crazy things, but they're just... Um, They can do crazy things, but they just start off so dodgy, don't they, without block. That's the thing. All the things they can do require rerolls. Ladle two dice this lad. This ladle three dice this lad. Oh, got him. Ah, oh, 
I've pushed him away so it's a fucking two dice instead of a three. What the fuck? Him, uh, fucking no hammer breaks. Two goblins down, nothing. What a shit gun. Fucking flies, man. Um. Yeah, when they develop the answer for bad, yeah, but they're um. Yeah, Vamps have Vamps have won a major on Fumble, and they've won, they've won the black box tournaments plenty of times. They're good against Bash, like <laughs> it's just the, they struggle against elves, don't they? Because elves are just better elves than they are. Although they've got four super duper players or five maybe at high TV, just because they've got like. Uh, an amazing five players um, max you could never run six really uh, and most of them just run four super duper vampires um, elves can get those same players but with more movement and elves instead of thralls and no negatrates so <laughs> yeah sorry I should have said two <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's that's a big part of it, isn't it, Jellyel? Yeah, that's the thing. That is a super. You can't. You can't. Um, you can't uh, emphasize that enough. That's the problem with all these stats, isn't it? Is that generally good players aren't going to dick around with shit teams. So. That's if I want to move it forward. Can block him. Blitz him, block him. Pretty cool animation, to be fair. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's all about crucial turns and stuff, isn't it, with vamps? That's the thing. And they just... Uh, yeah, it's always... Yeah, it's just a straight-up injury roll. Yeah. Bypasses AV. Straight on injury. But the max is a badly hurt. So... Can read on trials, yeah. Yeah, they, that make them a lot better. They, they, everyone talks about thick skull, don't they? People were people always gone about thick skull, but yeah, regen would make them pretty good linemen then. But then they'd have to cost fifty k, wouldn't they, or something? 
the the bite gives him nothing. Well, the bite, the bite just stops him exiting the pitch. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a pretty bad negatory. Then there, yeah, the negatory is. Uh, there you go. Got to try and kill this fly first. Oh, fucking hell! It's every time I go to kill it, it flies off. What a fucking little clever cunt it is. So yeah, every, every time you 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 make an action with a vampire, you roll a dice, and on a one, you've got to eat a thrall or a spectator. And uh, so there you go. If he bites a thrall. He cases it. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, you roll. You roll. You make an injury roll. If you don't, then you run off into the crowd. That's the fluff. Is that you run off into the crowd and uh, bite somebody in the crowd instead? I like to blitz the mino. Would also like just to get away from him. No reason to move forward yet. I've got a player there. Um, could put two guys here, block him, blitz the mino. Good morning, Jimmy. Are you ready to fail some blood luck? <laughs> oh, thanks very much, buddy. Wow, it wasn't the curse of death. Um, hello Tony, thank you, yeah, yeah I am, aha, I am definitely ready. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Got him. Yeah, Hypno Gaze is a hell of a get, a hell of a skill, yeah. <laughs> See you later, dickhead Mino. Right, this is enough, isn't it? There's no need to move. <laughs> it is funny that you don't want to move vamps if you can help it. It's a funny, funny old game. He's got the one turn option as well, hasn't he? So stalling probably isn't even that good here, but there you go. Yeah, come on. Gotta get it this time. Oh, are you shitting me? Literally every time I get out of my chair he fucking flies off. Oh. That was hilarious though, wasn't it, the Amazons? Uh, yeah, that is true for many Negatrix, yeah. But when you've got a whole team of them, it's a bit different, isn't it? Powers me, powers me, Blodger. Maybe I should have just let him eat a thrall, eh? Yeah, especially don't want to move them if Tony starts down. That was hilarious, the Amazons. Amazons <laughs> versus the Vamps. And he's like, they haven't failed any bloodlust. <laughs> and they failed to and cause one and kill one. Unbelievable. Maybe I should start moving now, eh? Didn't do safe moves first. Shame on me.
Look at this one can move. Good lad. I like the sound effect for it. Yeah, I hate the screen shake. Yeah, the screen shake. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I really hate the, the screen share. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable, Jeff. Gaze is pretty good, though, isn't it? Gaze is a hell of a skill. But really only against patch teams, isn't it? That's the thing. So he's kind of made an irrelevant blitz here, hasn't he? Which is good. Even though it's got him a KO. He's down three, I'm only down one. So I should be able to do something. Elf screening, not so good when you can just lose one of them. But still, fair enough. Fair enough thing to do. Yeah, I don't know why they added that. You know, it's the sort of thing you'd think they'd have, they'd have had it in from launch if they wanted it. Hmm. Right, so I want to gaze him. And then what blitz him? I'll just straight up blitz him. <laughs> Get banged on. Want a GFI, don't it? So there's a space to run through. Pretty annoying, but at least the ball's totally safe. Because I could have relied on, on gazing him, but I didn't want to. And I couldn't have gone that much far, far off anyway. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> yeah, maybe Pedro. <laughs> maybe. What I'd like is, they probably wouldn't do it because of the animations, but what I'd like would be if somebody got plus strength, they increased like, the size of the player, like scale the player up like 5% or 10% or whatever. It just in all directions. So you just have like, so you would have a uh, kind of like, if, <laughs> if, if if he had a strength six ulf it would be like the size of a human. That was four ones in a row then, wasn't it? Just fucking loudly. That's great that he's not knocked down or armor broken or anything, so I can now totally ignore him. He's found the van. That's fair enough. That's fair, because now a KO is a Kaz, isn't it? So that's a, that's a great foul to make.
Ooh, can go down the sideline, but then don't have the movement to go down the sideline. So realistically, I just want to go in the middle here, don't I? Which is going to have to be from this direction to clear it out. Okay. Might as well re-roll it, I guess. Mm-hmm. If he falls down after feeling bloodlust, then he can't bite anybody. So yeah, it's a turnover. Bit risky going for this extra one, isn't it? It's also a four plus dodge from the minor, which isn't even crazy. Wish I still had my reroll. I might as well try to hit no gazer, mate. Oh no, because my bloodlust. But then if I do feel the bloodlust, I could dodge away. And go here. Nah, I guess I just don't activate. The thing I like the most is the thing that I would like the most would be just scale up the players if they got plus strength. I always thought that'd be good, even when they had. Even when they had the cosmetics in Blood Bowl 1, I always thought it'd be really good if, like, like Fumble, you know, you, what I did on Fumble was I had a guy who got plus strength, and, uh, he would, well, he would, he would have to, um, if he didn't block with him, he wouldn't have a tackle zone, right? So that would be, I would gaze him so that he'd, he'd lose his tackle zone. So, wow, I can't believe he just did that. So, if he didn't block, I would be free to move away next turn. Um, and if he tried to just recover, it would be a 4 plus wild animal. So it would just force him to block. And if he turned over before he made the block, he would be without a tackle zone. So, But maybe I should have maybe I should have made the dodge out to stop the minor 4 plus. It was just a 4 plus to essentially get the ball, wasn't it? But he made the mistake of moving his recovery guy first, which wasn't wasn't super smart. Can't believe I let him get the four plus. Dodge. I, sh I should have. I just. I'd use my reroll. So I was scared, but it was fucking stupid because he was obviously going to make the four plus, wasn't he? Like my two plus is harder, is easier to make than his four plus, and he was always going to go for it. So yeah, it was stupid. Stupid play by me. Too much of a pussy. Ah, he's not failing anything, is he? Huh. 
But yeah, I shouldn't have given him that. I should have. I knew I shouldn't have done. But I was just scared of having a reroll because I thought if I roll the two plus. If I'd rolled the 2+, plus, he wouldn't have had that. <laughs> so, I, but I was just scared of failing. And plus he might not have gone for it, that was a thing. But he seems pretty decent, actually, at Blood Bowl. But probably lost now. But, you know, see what happens. One, two, three, Pretty shit. Need a canoring threat. Champ ladder. Chorfs. <laughs> Chorfs are pretty good at beating Zons and Stunties. And they're still good at, at high TV with the other teams. Um, you know, Dark Elves, whatever, I don't know. Same, same old shit, innit? If you want to win 500 euros, it's the same old shit, so. Um. But mostly I'll be playing in the NAF ladder, hopefully. For fun, I'll play in NAF. That's the thing, so... Yeah, that was the thing. That was the thing, Pedro. I was kind of hoping that he wouldn't go for it, but that's stupid. You've got to assume. You can't just hope your opponent's bad, can you? You've got to assume that they're going to see the right play and go for it. So even if that gives them a bad player an easier chance, um, you've got to play as if they're not a bad player. Wow, this is ballsy. This is ballsy from him, but he just knows he's going to pass every single roll, doesn't he? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> he just knows he's going to pass every roll. Well, you can't go wrong, can you? If you've just fucking, if you just fucking make a four plus dodge for fun, even GFI back there as well. Thank fuck for that. Right, so if I bl blitz him down here, then it should be kind of vampy easy, shouldn't it? I can't afford the GFI though, so. Hopefully that guy doesn't catch it. Oh, perfect. 
perfect. Right. One, two, three. Oh, no! I was just counting them out. All right, at least I didn't bloodlust, though. Oh, wow, that's so bad. Roll the one anyway, fuck's sake. I was just counting out the squares. Because I was thinking, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I, so I was going to move this thrall to here. So I could bite him if I had to. Well, fair enough, I just fucking misclicked anyway. But one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to plan my turn. Um, yeah, but if I'm, well, so is playing for fun though, isn't it? So... If you're thinking low TV kill Underworld, then there's nothing at stake there, is there? It's not it's not fun for me to just play pointlessly. But um So when it takes a, a lot of effort to win five hundred euros, I'm not just gonna fucking spin my wheels in champ ladder. Um the NAF ladder, Pedro Jack, VIP Pedro Jack Pedro Jack is the official NAF, you know, 1,100 TV, um, tiered, tiered um, teams with like six or seven or eight or nine or ten skills. And if you take a tier three skill, you get like ten skills or something. You can get a lot of skills anyway, and like doubles and stuff. Um, and you know, matchmaking, everybody with nearly the same TV, no inducements allowed. Um, Yes, you do. Yes. Sealers. You do need to make a different culture count, yeah. Pedro Drac. <laughs> Pedro Drac. <laughs> yeah, another another not win for the vampire. That was unlucky though, wasn't it? Two two on the dodge and one on the one on the dodge, one on the pickup. Had some shitty luck with uh some of the turns, but yeah, that was a good lesson anyway against him, you know? And the reason that I didn't make the dodge to to make the cage safe from the mino was I thought if he was bad, he wouldn't make that dodge. But if I rolled the one, he would make the he would make the blitz, right? So but I you've got to assume that, that the opponent is good, I think. So Yeah, I think Lesson learned. Out blocking with vampires is funny, isn't it? Um, he rolled twice as many sixes as ones, just quietly. Failed at eight. Bloodlust, 77. Going for us weren't that bad, actually. Because it was that the turn that I scored, I made a ton, didn't I? I was very lucky on the turn that I scored, to be fair. 50-50 on two plus pickups. Brilliant. Uh, twice as many ones as sixes. So he's got he's got twice as many sixes as ones. <laughs> and then I've got twice as many ones as sixes. Just quietly. Um, it's pretty good though, isn't it? It's pretty good that you can do this sort of stuff afterwards. I really do like it and see every single block that was made. I, I really do like that stuff. Um... It wasn't a fail of my ego, no. It was, it was just thing. I mean, he played pretty decently, to be fair. I was there was no reason to believe he was bad, um, but it was just. It's not even whether he was bad or good. It's it's do, is he going to go for that four plus nine or dodge? You know, I think. I think. Um, I think I would have gone for the four plus nine or dodge, but then somebody else who's also in my opinion good might have not gone for it however if you roll a one i mean if if i if i was in his shoes do i go for the 50 50 dodge to hit the ball i don't know but if he dodges out his vampire and rolls a one um then i'm damn right gonna go for the the automatic minor blitz aren't i so i don't know i'm i really don't know whether it was wrong or not actually i don't know because yeah, I just don't know. So maybe there's nothing learned from there, because I, I, you know, did. But then he's it, it's the four plus was probably the only chance he was he had of stopping me. So I guess I guess I would have made it. But I'm sure you'd find if you pulled the best, uh, if you put pulled. No, he was the last player. He was the last player that um to move. 
yeah, Dodge would have failed. But still, it was the thing is, I think it was the last player. But I should have positioned better to have done it anyway. Like, you know, oh yeah, with two GFIs. But one Dodge is better than two GFIs, isn't it? <laughs> but then I guess I wouldn't have exposed him. But maybe I shouldn't have moved the vampire or bit a different vampire or something. Yeah, exactly. You can't, you can't, um, you can't go by what was actually rolled, can you? It's whether the two plus, it's whether that two plus was worth the risk of failing it, and opening up the free blitz, because um, he might not have even gone for that minor blitz if I hadn't dodged. That's the thing. So, you know, it's it, that's what that's what I'm thinking. There was too much to lose if I rolled the one, because I'm giving the auto hit on the ball carrier, whereas. Uh, he might not have even gone for it, so yeah. It is quite hard to plan the turn of thumbs, yeah, to be fair. Anyway, there you go. Another another game, another draw for the Vams. Hey, right? that isn't even on there. There you go. Two draws and a loss. The loss was at one I conceded on like about turn four or something. Because it was just a joke. Got uh I was playing loads of T V down and then no, playing I was playing about even TV. But um, I was skills down. He had like block and stuff. and But he only had two vamps. And then uh, there was like a pitch invasion. And then every block he made was a Kaz. And it was just an absolute joke. Get the app on now. And uh, so yeah, I didn't upload it. And I was, really, I was really pissed off as well, to be honest. I don't like it when I'm just a moany little cunt. I know I'm a moany cunt a lot of the time. Um, it was really bad that game, so that's why I didn't upload it to YouTube. So, but there you go, that's game three. Still no wins with four vampires. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.